Hey folks, it's Finn. This might not seem the most festive of Vlogmas uploads to most people, but to us, to our family, this is a little Christmas miracle. If you've been following my vlogs, you'll know that mum is really poorly. She's been in hospital for over three months now. Lots of medical stuff going on, as well as what's looking like dementia. We get to get it diagnosed, that will happen when she's in the community. We've been working really, really hard to try and find her a really nice nursing home that's in or near Eastbourne, that can cater for all her needs, that's comfortable and all of that. And we'd kind of lost hope that it was going to happen before Christmas, but Mark and I saw a really, really nice place last week. We really liked the feel of it. And then they had to come out and assess mum and just see if they could cater for her needs. And we got the news yesterday that they're happy to have her there, which is such a huge relief. So today, Mark and I have been moving mum's things in so that we just get her set up a bit, you know, some nice photos and just making the place hers, taking a few little bits of her furniture in and things like that to make it all homely. And then tomorrow she'll be transferred from the hospital to the home. So that's why this vlog is up a bit late. It is so bittersweet because the joy we feel is in having her out of hospital because this isn't helping the confusion, delirium and hallucinations and everything. It's it's not helping. She's bored, you know, really, really bored and really, really low. So having her out of hospital really quick, as quick as possible was really important and having her out before Christmas was really important. So we are really relieved that finally we're getting her out, finally we've got a nice place. But it's also just really, really sad to have to do this, you know. It is in our mum's best interest, but we struggle with this a lot because mum is often poorly and then gets magically well. This is why we call her the Duracell Bunny. But this time we don't think that's going to be the case. It's hard as well because she's only 73. She's actually really, really young. But she's been very unwell for a number of years. It's mainly the lot of strokes that have done the damage that we're seeing now with her memory and cognition and likely dementia so yeah it's really sad you know it's sad to move anyone to a to a nursing home isn't it but it's particularly sad when that person is still so very young with possibly a lot of life ahead of them this is why it was so important to mark and i to find somewhere that she could still live in you know she could still have freedom to be herself and connect with people and do all of that even if she is confused she can still be social you know and as soon as me and Mark walked into this place, we just felt it was just the right place. The room isn't the biggest. We have the issue with mum where she doesn't own her own property. She's always lived in rented accommodation. She's in sheltered accommodation or she was in sheltered accommodation. So she has no assets or anything like that. So she will have to be local authority funded. And so that limits our choice, obviously. So it's not the biggest of rooms, but it's got such personality that we kind of fell in love with it. We've seen lots of other local authority rooms that were really small and pokey and just impersonal. But this has got real character. It's ironically, the nursing home she's going to, I worked at when I was like 21, 22. It's really, really surreal. But they've extended it since then. And so where mum's room is, is where the extension starts. So mum's room would have been a room that looked out straight onto the garden. But now it's got a conservatory built around the outside of it. So it looks like a little front door with a little kind of like courtyard outside. And rather than being four walls, the very top window is the back of the nurse's station. So that's all lit. So that's really nice and bright. And then this wall here is a big window. So it feels very lounge-like and just really airy. And there's also old beams on the ceiling as well. So it's not big, but it's got real character and it just feels like mum. All the staff that we've met so far are really friendly and it's just got a really lovely feel to it. There's a couple of people we've seen wandering around, obviously clearly with dementia and confused, but they're allowed to just wander and that's so key for us because mum likes to be independent and wander around and we don't want her held hostage to a chair. So yeah, it's been a really funny day. There's been this big sense of relief from me and my brother as we've moved all of her things in and made it look hers and, and knowing that she's going to be out tomorrow and she'll be able to settle and there's lots of events going on there for Christmas so that gives us both a lot of joy for her but then there's a lot of sadness as well 
but then there's also this relief for us both as well because this has been so tiring, so incredibly exhausting. And so now there's light at the end of the tunnel that, you know, now all that remains to do is to pack up mum's flat, put some bits into storage that she can't take with her and then just help her to settle, get a formal diagnosis about the dementia and what's going on and just take the next steps forward, you know, so it's not the most usual of amazing Christmas celebrations, but for us it is. There's a party there on the 21st and they've invited relatives. Mark, unfortunately, will have to be gone by then, but I shall definitely be there for that. And it'll be just, you know, I'm just really hoping, we're both really hoping that she settles into it and she likes it and she just comes back to being mum a bit because at the moment she's really low. So yes, this isn't the most festive of vlogs to most people, but to Mark and I, this really is our Christmas miracle knowing that she's going to be somewhere with a Christmas tree and Christmas celebrations and somewhere she can now build a routine and we can build relationships with staff and all of that. It's just a big, big relief. Happiness for her and relief for me and my brother who can now relax and we can find our own ways to enjoy Christmas around mum, knowing that we've not got to worry about her being stuck in hospital over Christmas. I really wanted to share this with you because every time... I share an update or a picture of mum on my Instagram or on my Twitter or on the um, Finn fan page. You all give so much love to mum and so much support and I just really wanted to share it with you because you've all been so supportive around everything that's happening and we know there's a long way to go but this of course is us over a big hump in the road at last. Our Christmas miracle indeed. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care of yourselves and I will see you tomorrow.